going on everybody this is me Alex again back with another video and this time you know I got a lot of places that I've been man I uh, got out of Lincoln and went to uh, Milwaukee Wisconsin then from Milwaukee Wisconsin I went to uh, Kenosha Wisconsin picked up a load there and then I, I delivered that to Romulus Michigan then from Romulus Michigan I went to Albion, Michigan, and I took that to uh, two Menards stores, and guess where it was? It was in Lincoln, Nebraska, my town. <laughs> so I literally, actually, I drove like right by my house, I mean on the street that takes me to the, my house, but I delivered two Menards there, and then after I delivered that, I didn't have no more hours, so I did actually went and uh, sleep. Uh, I went to sleep at my house. Then I got up again and I went to Shelby, Iowa, and I picked up another load there. And that one I took to Rapid City, South Dakota. And then from Rapid City, South Dakota, I went to Cheyenne, Wyoming. I picked up a load there at the Lowe's Distribution Center. And I took that one to Nampa, Idaho. Then I delivered there. Then I went from Nampa, Idaho to La Grande, Oregon. And I took a load to Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles, California. <laughs> but yeah, and, uh, and uh, also uh, on my way, when I was going to Lincoln, I stopped at the truck stop, you know, the Iowa 80. I uh, I always go there, you know, because I like to go and see the truck in there. But uh, never record anything because before I n never made YouTube videos. But uh, this time I actually got some clips out of the truck stop inside. I hope you guys like it. And uh, let's move on to this awesome clips. Later, guys. All right, so here we are driving through Wisconsin. I uh, already picked up in Kenosha, and now uh, we are going to Romulus, Michigan. And man, it's. Uh, I was just thinking, you know, every state has got a lot of different things that are super cool. You know, I, that's the reason that I really enjoy OTR, man, because. You see so many things, so many places on every state. You know, every state is beautiful, man. It's just incredible. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, today is kind of cloudy here. Uh, hope it will encounter any any wind or anything like that because we are really, really light. Uh, we have insulation, so. Uh, yeah let's pray for no wind but other than that you know uh it's been kind of drizzling and like if it wants to rain and it doesn't want to rain but then we get a little bit of drizzle again and so not bad not bad at all but we are doing good time to get to romulus michigan and uh i was thinking too like uh i really don't have anything about Michigan in my videos you know like uh, probably because I don't go there that many I mean that much usually you know they don't send me there for some reason that much so but if I ever go to Michigan uh, again you know I'm gonna record something uh, this time on this video there's not gonna be any footage of Michigan because I really spaced it out and there was nothing that actually caught my attention so that's the reason that I didn't have anything from Michigan but and I was looking too you know I went through through my camera and I was looking to see if I find something interesting to put in there from Michigan but no I mean and there was construction too so there was nothing fun so but uh yeah I hope uh everybody's doing well guys uh summer's almost here and I hope everybody got a lot of plans for this summer, vacation, and enjoy your time, man. But here we go. Let's keep on trucking. 
All right, my friends. So we are here at the Iowa 80 truck stop, the largest truck stop, apparently, they say. I don't know if it's true because I seen another one somewhere over there in Virginia that is super huge too. So I don't know if this one is the biggest or the one over there. But uh, yeah, this is the truck stop, guys. Uh, they got all kinds of stuff for the whole family, you know, everything. They got souvenirs, they got weapons, they got knives, they got everything. So it's, if you're ever around this area and uh, you're a trucker, make sure you stop. Maybe you find something that you might like. And if you're with the family, the family, the kids will love it. There's a food court and uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be something that they like. But yeah, enjoy it and uh, talk to you in a minute.
CB radio there's an accident uh, going uh, eastbound I'm going westbound there it is is a UPS truck roll over in the median and then let's see and there's a big backup and they just started cleaning it right now so these guys are probably gonna be here for a while maybe an hour one or two all right guys so we are here in Lincoln Nebraska this is my my hometown now you know I've been living here for 21 years now and look at this I'm driving on my neighborhood I actually um, gonna deliver to one of the Menards that we actually go in shop sometimes you know but uh yeah i got the one on the south of lincoln and also i have to deliver on the one in the north side 
And no, I'm not a dedicated driver, original driver. I'm an OTR driver. But sometimes we get this type of loads that we uh, we get some kind of stops, you know, like for Menards. But this is actually the only ones that have that, you know, well, that I that I done. I don't know about other people, but usually just uh, Menards is the one that you get to do with stops. And when I get Home Depot, it's just one drop one load and that's it and if it's a store uh, you just deliver it to the store they unload you and then you are ready to go and it's uh, if it's one of the Lowe's distribution centers and you take it to the, taking it to a store you actually drop the loaded one put them in the doors for them open the doors and then you just take the empty one and that's it but at the Menards it's different we don't have a drop system with them so we get it there and they unload us and then we move on to the next stop and usually it'd be nice if it was only one stop you know get unloaded boom and done but usually they throw two stops in there so but it's no biggie you know they pay us for the stops anyways so if you get a stop you're gonna get paid for it but yeah guys this is lincoln nebraska and it's nice and sunny here today, so yeah. What's going on guys? This is Alex again, back with another video. And this time I'm coming from my hometown, Lincoln, Nebraska. And I'm delivering at the Menards here in Lincoln, in the south of Lincoln. So that's crazy, huh? But uh, picked up this load from Michigan and brought it all the way back to Lincoln, Nebraska. Yeah, I have uh, insulations, so hopefully they unload me quickly. And this is the first store. I have another store that I have to go and deliver, and on the north side. Um, north side of Lincoln so, so two stops once I get that done then we'll move on to the next one but right now we are here at this one so you know me I always go inside and walk around check things out making sure I don't miss any sale or something like that, you know? <laughs> yes, sir. Got some nice showers over here, guys. And believe it or not, I got lost. I forgot where is the receiving area. But I will find it, guys. I will find it. They working on it already, so... Hopefully it doesn't take that long. So it's, the good thing is not too heavy insulation, you know? The whole trailer was full. I think half of the trailer is for them. And I had 18,000 pounds, so they gotta get 9,000 pounds of insulation. But yeah, this is where we at here, guys. At the Menards in South Lincoln, Nebraska. So I'm over here in my second stop. 
the Menards in the north side of Lincoln, Nebraska, 27th Street. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, you come in this way, right there where the truck is coming. You come in this way. You go this way, and then you kind of do a little, a little blind side to get in this position. You got a pretty good, pretty good setup. And the other place it took an hour. And here, I don't know. Hopefully, I mean, they don't have that much. The other store took almost more than half of it of the truck. So, but uh, I'm gonna put these chocks over here. They want you to don't watch out both times. For safety. For safety purposes. Yeah, we're gonna go chill on the truck I guess. Get a little snack see what we're gonna do after that man uh, I'm home <laughs> well I'm in Lincoln Nebraska but it's not my home time yet but uh, once I'm finished the delivery I barely have any hours so I'm taking the truck to the shop to the terminal and then uh, my wife gonna pick me up from there spend the night at home and then back out tomorrow but uh uh, that's the story, you know. That's all right, my friends. So we are here in South Dakota already, about to go over this uh, little bridge here. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Missouri River actually. And uh, I just passed the uh, Statue of the Dignity. Uh, it's on the left on the west area. I think there's a video where I have that statue there when I stopped here one time. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and go back to the videos. You'll find it. But uh, it's a good day. No wind, no rain, and sunny. So we're moving right along, guys. We are moving right along. And I thought that I was I picked up this low at the Shelby Iowa uh, Menards distribution center and is going to Rapid City South Dakota and I thought it was going to another DC but no it's a, actually a, another store so if this is gonna be like the third Menards in a row you know after I did the ones in Lincoln you know I have two there I'm like what what is this dedicated <laughs> what's up my people so I'm here in Rapid City South Dakota uh, somehow I end up with another Menard, Menards low you know after I delivered the, the two in Lincoln the two stops in Lincoln I went to the shop because they needed to put something in my truck like uh, some parts that were missing uh, I mean they were not missing but then I needed some parts for my ambient light because my ambient light didn't turn off at all. So they needed to put something that controls that light. So after I delivered that on Thursday, I went to the shop and I left the truck there. And then it was done uh, Friday around 1 p.m. So then I left, went and got an empty at the tractor supply in Waverly, Nebraska. And then I went to Shelby, Iowa, to the distribution center for the Menards, and the low was coming to here, to Rapid City, South Dakota. But right now, I only have one hour and five minutes, and they still unloaded me. So, 
hopefully they finish in maybe 10 more minutes or 15 because I'm running really low on my driving time but uh, uh, there is a flying J here about two miles away and then there's also a pilot five miles away and there's a loves eight and a half miles away so I got three options in case you know if one is full I can go and check the other one but I'm gonna check it on the trucker pad see if they still have spots available and hopefully they do but otherwise I'm gonna have to get a reserved parking spot but hopefully I don't have to spend money today you know because I think they're getting expensive I don't I the last time I spent a reserved parking it was over there in Colorado, somewhere around there. But it was one of the mom and pop's truck stops, so I only paid 10 bucks. But I don't really know how much they're charging right now on the Loves. I mean, at the Pilot or Flying J. The Loves doesn't charge, so that's why everybody and the mamas go there because you know they they don't charge for the parking lot. But worst case scenario, you know, just in case if I have to pay, yeah, I don't know how much it's going to be. But hopefully, guys, wish me luck that I can find me a spot. We're sitting on 41 minutes left on my clock. Enough time to drive eight miles. But this guy's ain't done yet, man. I can't believe it. Been here since 4.07 and it's now 7.12 p.m. And I forgot over here in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota is mountain time. So, yes, uh, central time is 8.12, but here is 7.12. But they're not done yet. Damn it, boy. What is going to happen? And I'm going to be able to find a parking spot. I don't know. Okay, so we got 39 minutes. Now they're finished. I just got my paperwork. So we still got enough time to make it. If this guy don't take forever, but uh, he just gotta check the back. And that's it, and then we out. And there's some guy waiting there. That's how I was when I came in, I waited. Where that truck is right now, I waited a whole hour. Hour and then two hours and 20 some minutes to get on over. Doors are open.
break out of here. They park. Let's go. Let's go and see if we can find parking. Oh my god. I hope so. I hope so. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. Keep your fingers crossed. I don't know if we're gonna find parking, but I hope so. We got three options. I don't know if I should go with the first option, flying J. They do have a dentist there for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Waits until I get out because that way, otherwise, you're not going to get in or me get out. Ahead, keep right. 
Turn right. Then take the freeway. I got my GPS set up for the After 100 yards, make a U-turn, then bear left, make a U-turn, then bear left. We ain't making no U-turn, CBS. It's against the law. Turn left. So, they do have showers and it's showing in the app that they do. So I already park, I'm parked here and the spaces over here are like huge man. Look at that big ass space in between. Some big old, big old spots. Look at that whole space on the trucks. It's like big old spots bro. Wow, which is good though, which is good. I guess they made it like that so, uh, Nobody can hit you. <laughs> but we end up with 24 minutes, so we made it here, guys. And I'm gonna go inside and check it out and see how everything looks. What up? The weather for today is on the way for show. <laughs> for show. Definitely is gonna rain. But before it rains, I'm enjoying over here some of this uh, nice fresh air and uh, very peaceful view here in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. What's up people? So we are still here in Rapid City, South Dakota. Uh, we did find parking and I'm just uh, cleaning my trailer, you know, sweeping it out, make sure it's clean for the next customer. Just making sure that it's no, no more little debris or anything like that, but it's looking good. You know, I don't really like to bring a trailer. It doesn't matter if it's not dry food or anything that I'm picking up but I just like to bring really good uh, clean trailers to the customer you know because I mean it's it's about my persona you know bringing quality things and they think you know wow this guy is a good driver you know bringing a nice clean trailer you know it's just and I'm representing uh, uh, my company too you know and that's was that's what they're known for you know bringing quality 
uh, equipment to the customer and clean and not just the dry division you know that I work in the refrigerator division before and I always bring a clean trailer you know I used to stop at the washouts and make sure that I bring a trailer that it was nice and super clean so it's just about um, being professional you know and uh, taking pride of what you do but we are here Still in Rapid City, I have a low, but I'm not driving yet since I was only having 17 hours and the pickup is not until tomorrow uh, in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And it's about 306 miles, I think, to get there from here. So I'm gonna start driving in the morning and uh, I'm gonna have a full clock. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching this little video. You know, and uh, but we made it safely. We find parking here at the Flying J, and then guess what? They don't have uh, reserve spots here. Just first come, first serve, whoever parks. So, if you ever around this area on I-90, Flying J on exit 61, exit 61. That's where where the flying day is and it also has a dentist in there so you can go have your breakfast <laughs> well thank you very much you guys for watching uh if you're not subscribed to the channel please do also hit the bell uh so you can get notifications every time i upload a new video and thank you for watching god bless